The water line is rising. All we do is stand there. The water line is rising. All we do is stand there. Welcome back to Underrated Movies. I know that was a long introduction. My name is Alton Henry. And today I'm going to talk to you about another film. Pride and Glory, starring Edward Norton, Colin, Colin Farrell, John Voight, and uh, whatever that guy's name from. Uh, Noah Emmerich. Basically, the story is about police corruption in New York City, um, where four cops passed on during... Oh, four cops died during a little drug bus and uh the head of the of a uh i forgot what police division john voigt orders his son to investigate the the incident and uh with edward norton who plays the son investigates the crime he kind of figures out that there's some well much more sinister occurrences that that happened when it came to those cops dying and uh and it's a shock value somewhat and uh this movie came back in 2008 i've watched this i think in 09 when it came out on dvd i remember reading um uh, renting the dvd uh at uh hollywood videos and i was in love with this film not perfect it's not a perfect film by a long shot. It does, story-wise, it gets a little bit complicated where there's layers after layers of what's they're tacking on, and it's it gets a I wouldn't say a little bit confusing, but it, it's just there's there's a lot of plot, and which is cool. There's a, you know there's 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 a lot that you know keeps the viewers invested in the story. Um, it is one of those kind of like cliche crime dramas but i think this one does a little bit more of a story um it kind of reminds me of the departed a little bit it deals with police corruption you know you got one cop trying to figure out um who set up the uh four cops that were at the um at this location uh for a drug bus or were they there for another reason and then secondly you have this other plot point where it's actually one of the cops spoiler who was actually responsible for sending those other cops to get executed or actually there was an ambush and uh, well, the movie's been out for a while colin farrell plays the brother-in-law of the family that um uh that is connected to uh uh edward norton's character uh, edward norton's character plays ray tyranny What's uh, Colin Farrell's character's name? Um, Jimmy. Yeah, his character's name is Jimmy. Where they kind of focus more on this family dynamic of Jimmy and Ray, with the big family with the, uh, the uh, uh, other actor named Noah, who's also a really good actor. Uh, I haven't seen much of his work. I know he was in The Americans, and then he had a role in The Walking Dead in the first season. But from what I've seen from this guy, I actually also saw him in Wind Talkers. This dude's a freaking actor. Uh, every scene that this guy is in, he stole it. This guy is amazing in this film. Um, Edward Norton, this actually is probably my favorite Edward Norton film. Um, he does great. Everybody does great. Even Colin Farrell, who plays like this guy who kind of got too cocky with his... Um, with his greed when it comes to money and basically he's the guy that kind of got those cops killed by accident and his role he tries to finish his deal with another gang member that he was trying to get more money from by doing this other uh this other thing where he's supposed to i guess i think he was supposed to assassinate another crime guy 
um, I think the guy's name, Agent Tazel. He was supposed to do a job to hunt him down, but that didn't pan out very well. And now he is kind of caught in a, in a crossfire where he kind of needs to hurry up and figure out where he's at while also trying to, you know, make sure that the guy he worked for is not going to, you know, kill his family or do anything that's going to mess up his reputation. Also trying to get his brother-in-law out the way. Um, there's a lot. There's a lot going on with this film. Um, also, um, John Oates, which I didn't realize that this guy, that you don't know who John Oates is. He's he's a good actor. He's a, uh, He was also pretty good. He actually, there was a, there was a scene in the film. It's actually one of my favorite scenes in the film where he plays one of the cricket cops that um, that joins um, Colin Farrow, and he gets a moment where he's confronted by Noah's character, who who's really um, in the film Edward Norton's I think older brother. He confronts him in the locker room um, in the police locker room and tell and kind of like squeeze him out like, dude, what did you do? And I think also Noah was kind of also in on it as well, where he was also connected to trying to get some money from this deal with Colin Farrell, but I didn't think he realized just how extensive and how much they kind of messed up um, trying to get this um, to try to get this deal to happen. And you know, so he's also connected. There's a lot. There's a lot of plot details and layers. What really sells this movie for me? is the performances. Frank Grillo, who's also in the film, was also great. He actually plays a pretty good asshole in almost every film. But this one, this dude, it's a little bit money-hungry and despicable. And the music in here was great. I just love the intensity with each of these um, the um, actors. I, I gotta be honest with you, this movie probably wouldn't do so great if it wasn't for the actors. These actors made this movie. Um, everybody does. Even John Voight does so good in here. Um, like, the actors bring it, man. Um, I, I, can't, I can't stress this enough for anybody who's a fan of Colin Farrell or a fan of Edward Norton or a fan of really of any of these actors, these actors made this movie. This plot was cool, but it does fall into those little trends of crooked cops that kind of played out a little bit. I think the trend was like from 2005 to like 2012, and then those genre kind of crime movies kind of died off a little bit. But the performances pretty much made this movie and I love how plot driven this movie was but it can get a little bit you can get a little bit lost um, one of my favorite scenes in here was when uh, John Oates um, is trying to make a confession with a news reporter in this in the car and it was the news reporter's car and he just lets out like what's really been happening going on and it's so very cryptid but it's also just very also sad because this guy just breaks down in this car to, to to reveal like what's actually what he's been doing not not good things and then what's you know what he's doing with the rest of his team uh, by um, getting those um, cops killed at the building um, like it's great. Like this movie was 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 fantastic. Uh, I and another scene where a uh, little bit of spoiler alert, um, where uh, Eric Norton Ray ends up confronting uh, Colin Farrell's character, and then they actually have a sort of a gunfight. They have a little fist fight, which I thought was cool. Um, not really big with the whole cam on the shaky cam, um, but I thought this film, the way that they shot it, was better. Than what most handheld shaky cams do um, when it comes when it comes to a fight scene. Um, but all in all, I thought this movie was great. Uh, actually, it was a shame that I didn't really hear about this film um, back in 08. But after renting it, I thought this was one of the best crime films I've seen. Um, underrated, very underrated. Um, 
Is it a perfect crime film? No, by a long shot, no, but this one is enjoyable to watch. I really love the ending too. The ending had a better sweet um, way of how it kind of concluded. Um, though it does end a little bit sad, but it does end to where like these characters are finally having some um, redemption from what they've gone through through the film. But it's a, it's a pretty good film. I highly recommend it. Um, please check it out if you have seen it. If you have seen this film, would you recommend it? Comment below, let me know, like, subscribe, and what is your favorite underrated movie?